Now, next we have question 12. It is about textual. It means we don't have any graph here. It is only the text we can see. Command of evidence. Okay. So we have to look for the evidence given in the text. Desiderata is an early 1920s prose poem by the American writer whose name is Max Ehrman. In the poem, Ehrman advises not to arouse one's temperament by staying away from the certain types of dominating people. So what does he advise? What the poet advises? He says that we should not arouse one's temperament. We should not get angry. And how can we do so? By staying away from some type of, some type of people, those who are dominating in nature. So this is the evidence. Which quotation from Desiderata in part most effectively illustrates the claim? So which of these four choices is going in alignment with the claim or advice that the poet has made. Okay. Glow placidly amid the noise and haste and remember what peace there may be in silence as far as possible without surrender, be on good terms with all persons. Glow placidly means go peacefully amid the noise and haste means when there is cacophony around, when there is so much of noise around, when you are such an ambience or atmosphere, you should keep behaving peacefully. So it is not the point that we have just read here. It is not in that context. So it is not in the context of the advice. It is just giving one statement, one general statement. Okay, you should behave that way. You should be silent and you should not make noise in such situations. So this is out of the context. Now, B point says, speak your truth quietly and clearly and listen to others. Even the dull and the ignorant, they too have their story. So he's kind of guiding us, okay, you should keep listening to everybody, listen to them carefully, do not ignore them, even if they are ignorant, they should be, because they have their story, so you should pay attention to them. So is this what he's advising? He's asking us to stay away from some people, and it is not saying anything about those people. How can we stay away from any sort of people so that we do not get angry? So out of the context. Avoid loud and aggressive person. See, avoiding, staying away. Same meaning. Avoid loud and aggressive people. What kind of people we should avoid? Loud people and aggressive. Aggressive means those who are loud and aggressive, aren't they dominating? Yes, they are dominating only. Same thing. We should avoid such people because they are vexations to the spirit. Vexation means annoyance. If you compare yourself with others, you become vain and bitter. So this is how we can stay away from such people, which is what the poet has said. So this is our right option. Let's read the next two as well. For always there will be greater and lesser persons than yourself enjoy your achievements as well as your plans. It is only saying that there are greater people than you. There are people who are not greater than you. You should enjoy your achievements. So this is a kind of a general statement, not the statement that the poet has made about staying away from certain kind of people out of the context. We have got our answer. Right answer is C. Question tags, all same. Skill required is to look at the textual meaning of the text. Graphics was not there. Level was medium. This was the poem taken. And we were just looking at the information given in the text.